What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you a way on how to see historical data that is longer than 90 days inside Amazon Advertising Console. We all know that most of the reports limit you from 30 to 90 days of data and for instance last week I needed to see historical data of some campaigns that are two years ago but you cannot do it inside their interface. You can only do it with this type of report that I'm going to show you in this video. Let's start. Okay, so before we start, I want to give credit to Isaac Gross. He's the one that I saw his post uh, really mentioning this and I found this uh, very helpful because like I told you last week, I actually needed to have a solution like that and I didn't know what to do and now I have a solution. So most reports in the Amazon Ad Console only gives you back 60 to 90 days maximum. Let me show you, this is for the reports. I'm not talking about even the interface. Interface, if I'm not wrong, it's 65 days, but let's go and see what is the limits, okay? So if we go to uh, the some of the campaigns and we go for data, we can check up to September 22nd, which is like two months, 60, 60 days, 60 days only. And you cannot see data for even campaigns more than that. And I needed to compare some uh, campaigns expenses from last year to this year for a specific task that I was working on. And I just couldn't get this information. So if your campaign structure is good enough and you actually name your campaigns in the proper way, and I do have videos about that, so make sure that you watch them, then you will have to... Um, you will have to uh, make sure that you uh, the campaigns are setting up properly because you can do this type of report that I'm going to show you how and see this historical data. So let's see how it works or let's continue reading what Isaac wrote. If you guys enjoy the content that I'm working very hard to provide and produce for you for free, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment with any feedback or questions do you have because I personally reply to every comment. Uh, so, uh, but there is a non-report, the campaign report. So this is the report, you can see the historical data um, and um, he found about it by, or inspired by this client. So let's go here to measurements and show you how to get it. Measurements and reporting, sponsored ad reports. I just created this report like a minute ago. It's called sponsored products campaign report. You click on uh, creating, creating a report, doesn't matter with display, whatever you choose or, what type of product is this or category? And then you choose the report type campaign. Okay, you choose summary and then you choose the date that you want. If you see, you can go all the way back and you don't have the limitation. I did create the two sponsored campaigns like that. And as you can see, let me share the data here. Um, this is for February, 2019, okay? No, I'm sorry, this is the start date, ignore it. I think it was October, uh, I'm sorry, June 2021, okay? So let's check. You can create filters, you can create and play with it, and then you can easily quick. I change the campaign names to campaign, but then you can take the campaign and see, okay, what is the breakdown? How much, uh, how much money you spent? What was the A cost? What does oppression, CTR, things like that? And then it can help you get better decisions. So I hope this helped you. And... Um, in case you had this issue, which is super annoying, it's a great solution, very easy, that I wasn't aware of, so thank you, Isaac. And um, yes, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.